Hey, what's going on everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? It is uh, Tuesday. Today is January the 3rd, 2017. Make sure you guys are writing 2017 and not writing 2016. Says the guy that's guilty of writing 2016 on his deposit slip at the bank today. Sorry, Fifth Third. Sorry, everybody down there. I wrote 16. I hope that doesn't make a difference. I hope my money still shows up in the bank tomorrow. Guess we'll find out real quick, huh? Um, but it is. It's 2017. Three days in. Um, I'm at 1,500 in sales. Sales are a little slow today, but hopefully they'll pick up. We'll get to that $2,000 mark. We'll make another few hundred bucks today. Um, how's everybody else's sales going uh, so far that 2017 is here? Um, people should be spending with gift cards, using cards. Uh, people should be splurge buying things that they didn't get for Christmas. Should be doing okay on sales. You shouldn't see a real drop off until February. So hopefully... That's what everybody's uh, finding right now. Hopefully that's how your sales are going. I know I've talked to a few of you and sales are not so good. If they're not good, list the death pile. Check your inventory. Make sure everything's listed. Edit your prices. Drop everything a dollar or two. You'd be surprised how fast that dropping items, just a dollar or two dollars, will really help your sales out um, tremendously. So just do that. Run a sale if you're not running a sale. Put best offer if you're not doing best offer. Uh, maybe offer some items at free shipping if you don't do that. Uh, maybe update some photos if you have some crappy photos. We all have our share of crappy photos. Again, Mr. Guilty number two, crappy photos that I need to edit. Um, but just all those things, you know, a combination of two or three of those things, you might see five or ten items fly out the door, $100, $150 in sales. So just check all those items if your sales aren't so good so far. Okay, so I'm probably going to use this as my thumbnail, but a lot of you asked for photos of the Firebell that I sold. One of my greatest sales ever. Spent $30, sold it for like $900 and change. We made, you know, after shipping and fees, at least $7, $7.50 in profit. Um, this is similar. This isn't our bell. This is somebody else's bell, but it was identical to what we sold. Front of a 1920s, 1930s fire truck. Uh, very heavy, probably 40 pounds. That thing was brass or metal or whatever lifted it up very very heavy um it ended up costing 60 bucks to ship if i remember uh it ended up costing us 80 bucks 90 bucks in fees uh, we spent 150 dollars, so we only netted like 750 but we were into it for like 30 so we made like seven seven hundred ten dollars in profit something like that but there's there's a pretty good idea of what uh what it looked like i'll probably use this as a thumbnail everybody wanted to know about the fireball so there it is for those of you that asked that, if you ever have a chance to buy a old school fire truck fire bell, please buy it. If it's in two digits, buy it. Even if it's in three digits, pick it up. But they're awesome. They're heavy. Just get a really thick box, tape it up, bubble wrap that thing, stuff bubble wrap in the inside of it. You know, make sure the bell's not shaking and ringing. Wrap it in foam. I think we put it inside of one box and put that box inside of another one. We really protected it. It showed up. The guy was a collector. He was a curator of a museum. I think it was out in Ohio or something. But um, he bought the bell, loved it, spent every dime of it uh, on his own collection, kept it, and was just sent us a thank you letter a million times over. So it was an awesome sale. We made really good money on it. And that was one of my best sales ever. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, I'm just going to talk about a little bit of everything in this video. Just a little bit of mix, mash, hodgepodge, everything. Um, somebody asked me about video games the other day when they don't have any kind of label on them. These ones are completely labelless. Pick them up. Find somebody with a system. Find somebody at a pawn shop or a store that you can test these at. Maybe a resale shop, another reseller, somebody that's got one locally. These were a dollar at the pawn shop because they didn't know what they were. Turns out this one's Mario Kart and this one's James Bond 007. 25 to 30 bucks, 40 to 50 dollars. 70 plus dollars on two bucks because they didn't know what they were and I took the time to test them. So you never can go wrong on items that somebody doesn't know what they are, especially video games, because if the label's off of them, there's a pretty good chance they were played, and if they were played a lot, Pretty good chance they were a popular game, and that's why they're worth money, guys. So don't ever pass on anything. You never know what you're going to find. My mama did tell me life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, guys. Make sure to check them out. Take the time. Don't be lazy. Do the work. You'll make the money every single time. And if they had turned out to be a little $5 game, so what? I still took a chance, and I made a couple bucks, and, you know, at least I took the chance that they were worth 70 In which case, they were worth 70 so... Good turnaround, good investment, great profit.
I also got asked by a few of you, if you haven't noticed in the last few videos, um, I've posted links. Um, a bunch of you asked where to buy all of the things that I use every day, my poly bags, my bubble bags, uh, my scale, my Accutech 50 pound scale, which is dirty, how embarrassing. How dare you go on stream on video on YouTube looking so dirty. Um, where to buy this thing, uh, where to buy the microphone that I talk to you guys with, which is right here. Um, blue snowball ice microphone, where to buy my webcam if you guys want to be YouTubers, where to buy all the kind of stuff, these gaming monitors. Most of us use two monitors, so you can probably see there's one and there's two, one and two. Um, so I just put links down in the bottom for you guys. If you want to find any of the stuff that I have here in the office or that I use every day, the poly bags, the scale, everything that I have, um, you guys can definitely check those links out. They're down in the description box of every video below. Whoa, my office is coming apart. Um, it definitely benefits me. Um, you know, I just want to let you guys know, if you buy anything off my channel, please use the Amazon links below. Um, I get a couple bucks out of it if you guys buy it from me directly and go through Amazon. Um, I found the lowest prices, so if you guys do want to buy that thing, I'm sure you can always find something cheaper, but... I searched for a while and found the lowest prices that I could possibly find on the actual items that I have here. My Logitech C920, which is this fancy camera that I'm using, that scale that I just showed you guys, this blue ice microphone, my poly bags, my bubble mailers, all that stuff actually is linked below. So if you guys need help finding cheap materials or good quality materials, I don't always buy the cheapest. I buy good quality as well. Um, sometimes it's cheapest, sometimes not. But all those links are down below. So you guys can find that. If you click on it um, before you buy it, uh, it'll take you to my Amazon uh, checkout thing where you can buy your merchandise, and I'll get credit for that. So uh, it's not much. It's a couple bucks here and there. But uh, it definitely helps me. And um, from what I understand, it will help all of you guys find my materials because a lot of you guys ask me where I buy my bubble, where I buy my scale, where I buy my padded, where I bought my microphone. So... That'll make it easy. It'll just be in the bottom of every um, video from now on. Included in the bottom of every video in the description box is the Facebook group. If you guys haven't joined the Facebook group, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Reseller Group, it's a huge group. It has grown grown in, what What are we at, like three or four weeks now? Three weeks? Four weeks? Four, four weeks? Four weeks, and we are at 2,300 members almost. So super awesome group uh we have weeded out the spam we're having great conversations great talk you can ask any questions you have there post the link post your items um asking questions about them the only thing i do ask is don't spam the group we will block you and don't uh, advertise your eBay and Amazon stores or products without permission. You can certainly take a picture if you find a cool item out shopping or you're about to list a cool item or you were sourcing and you have a question about an item you weren't sure about. Please put those out there. That's what the group is for. But don't just post in the group everything that you have for sale. That's all we're asking. So the group is awesome. Everybody is very helpful. A lot of knowledgeable people. For those of you that are other resellers, Nicole or Jason or um, Steve or Chris or anybody that's in the reseller community, that is not a part of the group that would be helpful to us to answer questions. Please send me an invite request and I will um, invite you or I will accept you into the group. Um, myself or Caitlin or Megan. Megan is an admin because she's good with that stuff. Um, any one of us can accept you into the group. So please, if you haven't already asked, please ask. If you asked to join the group and you weren't accepted, send me a private message on Facebook and let me know because sometimes it doesn't show us or it shoots it into... Uh, um, possibly spam so it might have blocked you but I'll, I'll take care of it if you're legitimate so um, make sure you guys check that group link out for facebook ebay amazon etsy seller the link is down below as well the group is growing super fast i'm super excited about it and i appreciate all of you that have already joined the group all right guys i'm gonna leave you with one more item bolo item be on the lookout for i'm gonna post this video i'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to watch it and then i'm gonna go live another surprise live Tuesday video. It's 8.30. I can get on by 9 my usual time. Y'all will join in. Um, this is some stamps. You guys saw this in a video a week or two ago on a haul video. Wooden stamps. Very hard wooden stamps. If you get them, pick them up. We paid 3 or $4, maybe 5 bucks for this bag. Kate listed 10 We sold one for $9.99. Free shipping after fees and shipping costs. 5 bucks. We're even on this bag. Everything that sells after this is going to be profit. Make sure you pick up these wooden stamps. And the brand you're specifically looking for is PSX Wooden Stamps. You can also look up Stampin', 
Sisters, Stampin, S-T-A-M-P-I-N, Sisters, S-I-S-T-E-R-S, -S -E all one word. They sell stamps uh, basically exclusively. They have thousands of stamps they've sold, thousands of stamps listed. If you ever come across stamps for cheap, pick them up. You can make money on them. Uh, Met your bolo. So let's talk about the rest of this week. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd. Tomorrow is Wednesday, January 4th. And I have two live shows, <laughs> neither are on this channel. So I'm going to have to link you guys in, those direct in the, that direction of these videos. Number one video is tomorrow. I will put the times down in the description box below. I think that description box is getting awful full. How many characters do you get? Like 5,000 or something? I don't know. It'll be down in the description box. It is with Yvonne. She is from Flippin' Easy. If you guys haven't seen her YouTube channel, I will link it with the link to this video for tomorrow. It's a live chat. Now, Yvonne has done something very interesting. She's approached three of the resellers, myself, uh, Jason from Prof Sales, and Ronnie from Heart Pickers, Ronnie Hart, and approached their significant others, their wives, uh, fiancés, girlfriends, whatever their case might be. Um, and they're going to do a live show with the four ladies, Yvonne and the three. Uh, that would be Karin, uh, Jason's... Are they married? Jason, Jason and Karin are married, right? Jason, I'm sorry. I think you guys are married. If you're not, I'm sorry. Jason's significant other, Karin and Caitlin, and uh, Gretchen, who is uh, Ronnie Hart's wife. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're married. I'm confident in that. Uh, so those three ladies will be interviewed by Yvonne from Flipping Easy, and you guys can watch that live tomorrow night, and I will link that down below. Go to the link down below, bookmark the site, and then tomorrow night you can get the update and go to the channel and watch it live. Make sure you subscribe to Yvonne's channel and click the little notification bell next to her so you get a notification as they go live. You can also look on the channel and see what time it will be. Um, I'm going to open it up here and tell you guys the time that she's got it scheduled. I believe, so it's 21 hours from now, so 24 hours would be 8.40 p.m. Eastern minus 3, 5, I believe it's 5 p.m. Eastern, or no, it's 6 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe, is the right time. I'll double check that. It will be down below for you guys. So make sure to check that out. It's going to be cool. You get to see the other side of the women behind the men of reselling. So that'll be cool. Um, second live video, it's going to be with my person that got me going, uh, Chris the Bonafide Hustler. For those of you that have never seen Chris the Bonafide Hustler, check him out. I will link his channel down below with the link to our live video. Um, it should be good. I have never spoken to Chris in real life. I have never spoken to Chris on the phone. I have never texted with Chris. We have only exchanged a few Facebook messages, so it'll be the first time that I get to talk to what was essentially my uh, inspiration and my idol you know, in the last four or five years to get into reselling, getting to YouTube, and producing everything that you guys see here today. So that should be awesome. Um, we have a good outline, and you guys can check that video out below as well. Um, all tomorrow night. And then Thursday, of course, is my normal, regularly scheduled programming live show, Q&A Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with a surprise guest. Who is going to be? I can't tell you. Tune in Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, which you can find on my channel. The link to that is not in the description box below. It's on my main channel. Go to it, bookmark it, and come back Thursday for that talk. Um, surprise guest, you'll just have to wait and see. I don't I don't know who it is. No thumbnail. I'm not going to give it away, but you guys will enjoy it Thursday. So come back and see me then. Uh, and check out those both those videos, live chats tomorrow. I'll be busy, so I don't know if I'll have a regular video, but both... Both of those live chats tomorrow um, I'll be on. I'll try to get you guys a normal video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking this out. Let me hurry up and get this up because I'm going to go live with you guys because that's what you want. You guys want to see me live and in person. I don't know why you want to see me live in person, but you do. So I'm going to oblige. I'll be right back, guys. Next time you see me, it'll be right here in the chat room. Until then, enjoy this video, and I'll see you in a few minutes.